lot of different things with your iPod or iPod Touch using Copy Trans Manager instead of iTunes. Now, you can't necessarily sync your apps, but you can sync music, movies, and delete podcasts using Copy Trans Manager. And it's a lot quicker than using iTunes, especially if your computer doesn't really like working with iTunes. So we're going to open this Copy Trans Manager free right here. And it's a free download you can get off the internet. I'll try to include a link to it in the description of the video. Okay, so here we are. We're in the uh, home pane of the iPod. If you wanna, if you ever wonder where you are at in the pane here, there's a lot of different selections as you can see. But you can always click on the name of the iPod to get a list of everything on it. This includes all your movies, all your music, and all your podcasts. And um, right now, as I have it set up, it's in alphabetical order. Now, in order to add new tracks, you're going to go up to this little button here. It says Add Tracks to Playlist. Open that up. And you navigate to some music. And you open one of these. Say Open. And you can see it landed right here in the pane. Now it's not going to be added to your iPod until you click this little update button. You can do this at any time without ejecting it. You can just update. And that is basically the iTunes equivalent of syncing. Updating is the same thing. Now you can add videos by clicking the same thing and navigating elsewhere. And you see iTunes likes to play, or iPod in general, really plays only movies in MP4 format. Um, there might be a couple others, but MP4 is pretty much the native format they play movie files in. So make sure that before you try to sync a video that it has a .mp4 extension on it. Just click open and it will also land in the pane. Now I should probably mention that if you're syncing like a two-hour movie to your iPod, it's going to take a little while to update it. So don't get frustrated or impatient with it. It might take you know, a good 10 minutes to update a full movie like that. Now this video in particular is only like four minutes long, so it's not going to take too long to update. Now you can see in this pane on the left, it says podcasts. It also says podcasts up here. Um, I probably have about 15 or 18 podcasts here. I could delete all of them, or I could delete just one. Let's just pick one of these here. You say right click and delete from iPod. Do you want to permanently delete the track? You can say yes. Okay, and you can delete your podcast that way. Now, a lot of people have difficulty getting iTunes to put their artwork with their songs. And it is a little bit frustrating when you tell iTunes to put the artwork on and it doesn't. So you can change it manually using this pane. Um, we'll just pick one here. Right click and select change artwork. And I'm just going to pick a picture to be applied to it. And you can see in this pane up here, the artwork is now applied. Um, when you sync your iPod with Copy Trans, the picture also syncs as well with the song. So it'll show up as it's in the now playing list on your iPod. You could do it in bulk too if you wanted to. If you had, say, a whole album worth or you wanted to put a particular picture on the artwork for a certain playlist, you could do that by selecting Control A, and that's Control All, and you could change artwork that way. That's just kind of a fun thing to know because a lot of people don't end up getting artwork on their iPod using iTunes. Now I'm going to update this, and you can see in the pane down here, it's not taking very long. That blue bar really filled up pretty quickly. So now it's updated, the video and all. So if to eject it, just click this little eject button and you're done. You don't have to wait for like iTunes to eject it forever and sync it and back it up. Well, that's all for today. Um, you can look for the Copy Trans Manager link in the description of the video if you want to download it for yourself. Now, I will say the only free program that's on it is the Copy Trans Manager. You can see there's a number of other programs you can use too. This Copy Trans photo is free to use if you're willing to have them put their watermark on your photos. So if you don't want watermarks on the photos that you sync, you'll have to buy the Copy Trans Photo Manager. 
there's a lot of other options here. Um, you can restore your iPod, um, manage multiple iTunes libraries and other things, but I just use the free version because that's really all I need. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.